Hey guys, it's your boy at me, and I'm here to show you guys how to get 3D models and how to use it in Clip Studio Modeler. Right, so as you can see here, I am in QBrush, right, and in QBrush here, I'm getting this model here for zero dollars. But if you guys want it, you guys could get it too, or you can, you know, the guy, the person who created this some funds or something so you know you can support them right so i follow in them you have to make an account on this site to do the links will be down below for both this and maximum which you'll be going to afterwards right so i don't download this right so after you don't download this you want to go to maximum right and you want to import the file into here right so we want to go and upload file I want to upload the file, right? Select the file. This is the file here. You want to put it in. It will load up. And once our file is loaded up, you want to click next. And now you want to add in these points on them here, which will be very crucial. All right, so we want to add this point here to the chain. And add these points here to the wrist. Right here. This point here. Right here. This point here. Right here. This point here. Right there. Right, and since all of that already put up. Since we add all that, we're going to click next. It'll take a few seconds in order to, you know, adjust. In which I will speed up. All right. And once the character moving on exactly how you want them to move, you want to click next. Click next again, and they'll come here. Now, if you want to test out like different movesets and thing, you want to click this. It'll show you that the character is moving. If you want to go back to the key pose, you want to come up here to the right. You click that. Go back to the key pose. Now we want to download our file now. Right? In the old Clip Studio modeler. You, you, you can download um, FBX 6.1 and that's what I would. But now we're in 2025. You want to download FBX 4.4. I already have it on my, uh, my desktop. You click that. You click download. You put it wherever you want to put it on your, um, your desktop or whatever folder. Call that just, right? Cancel that. But after you done do that now, we're moving on to modeler clip studio modeler right so inside of here you wanna i'll show you guys how to import it you're gonna come here to file click file click new make sure it's on this one here with my cursor is on create 3d this will come up here then you're gonna come across here to the right you'll be on sketch right well, we not we don't want to be on sketch we're going to go to body you click body right and now we come down here on the body i'm going to add from file click file look for the file this is the file open the file this is the file it will come up like that we're going to come here to view you click right you'll see the lights here right so first thing first, you want to be able to get uh, a view of you, but you want to get a picture of it. So in this case, the slider to go in and out. Right, so we're going to go in. And we're going to make sure we are on this one here. So we can go up to the page. All right. Then when I click that there, and this will show up here, all right? And that. Now we're going back. 
right? You want to come back here to sketch, and in sketch, you want to go to the height. So, how big you want it, that'll be entirely up to you, right? If you want it big, if you want it small, that'll be entirely up to you. Meaning from five foot to six foot to seven foot, that'll be entirely up to you. Right, so I'm gonna go back now to body. Right, I was in sketch just now. That is to change the height and the size of the character. So when you go and see if it's into Clip Studio, it can go like come out as this big kaiju. Now you add a string, you add a scale inside, you know, to put it in the scale, the steam. We don't want that. If I leave it as it is right now, right? So going back into body here, you right, body. And while in body, you want to come down here, right down here, you will use the perform standard moon mapping. Click that, this will come up here, you want to say OK. This will come here, right? So inside of here now, you want this form here, this form here, I'm going to do a rotation around, to be exactly as this over here. Okay? You want it to be exactly like mirror. Exactly. If it's not mirrored to that, you want to use this slider here to adjust it to how that character looking, right? But still not talk both of them is in the same form. We don't have to worry about that. You still want to come up here and press next. And inside here now, when you press next, you want to map everything as how it is here, right? So we're going to start with the head, you know, the head here, and then you go the head and don't already connect to the neck. So you're gonna click the head, you go show the hand, so we're gonna click the hand, then we're gonna click the next hand, then we're gonna click the leg, click the next leg. Now everything map up, right? So you're gonna click next. So with that there, you'll be showing you like an onion skin kind of thing. You wanna test it out. Right, just to make sure. Right, and once everything is complete, you're gonna complete it, and everything is lined up as it is as it should. All right, moving forward. So next thing I want to do now is register this character. But see the character looking like this now. We don't want that. We like to look back as it was looking before. So we open this back up as you know, for the light again. You wanna go up here to file. Then you wanna go register as material. Alright, so we come up here. Registering it as a material. Let's name this into 3D. So it's not for tag. And down here, you want to add some tag. So we're going to add a tag called female body or that's new body, new type. Or put it as F type. No, no, no. That, that's not bad. That's not even real bad. 3D female. That's what it does that. 3D female. New 3D female. Right. Now I'll open it. Uh, let's put like 3D. Put that right there. And let's put body type or something. So. That's the only matter of character. 3D female. Or new female. That's the 3D. That's the 3D character. Together. Okay. 
right. Let's grab a dot C there. All right, we'll be moving on to Clip Studio now. Now that we're in Clip Studio, we're going to open up a new file. Right, we are in here now. Close that door. And there it is, 3D female. Gonna grab that, drag that in. And this will come up here like that, but we don't want that. So we're gonna go into the settings here, all right? Light source. Apply light source. So, Character as it is, light source. By shadow, now we don't want no shadows. Alright, so since we have that, that's some pose, that thing. From types of poses. Drag them in. Stuff like that, right? You know you have the character. Not perfect, but you know, that's what it is. Everything is as it is. Right, so if you guys reach as far into the video and you like what you see, please like and subscribe and follow for more. If this video is insightful, you guys know what to do. Leave that leave, leave a like and leave a comment. Alright, I am out. You guys rock, see health, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Latest guys.